Algebra 1 1, Final Exam Review Packet Number 2. Alright, so the first part would be your um, open response section. That's the first day of the final. And so if we look at number one, uh, we have variables on both sides and we have a fraction. So we need to clear the fraction. So to get the common denominator, I take the 3 and the 4 and I multiply them together and I get 12. So I have 12 above each one. Okay, the 12 and the 3, they cancel, we get 4x. 12 times 8 is 96. 12 times 12 is 144. And then 12 times, or 12 divided by 4 gives me 3x. All right, now. We're subtracting 3x to both sides, and we get 1x. Then we subtract 96 to both sides, and we get 1x equals 48. Now, to get the x by itself, we're going to divide by 1, and x is 48. For number 2, We can go ahead and draw our lines, if that helps us. And our goal is to get that x by itself. So I've got to add 2 and then this cancels and we have negative 16 less than or equal to 4x less than 8. Now we divide by 4. and we get negative 4 less than or equal to x less than 2. All right, and number 3, this is the Monroe Reservoir boat problem. So it costs $35 per hour plus $90 deposit to rent the pontoon boat. Okay, I want you to understand that that per right there means times, so 35 times hours which they said down here use T for hours. So times T plus sign the 90. Okay? So that's part of your, that's the expression in your equation. It says write an equation that describes the cost C. So all of that equals C. So C equals 35T plus 90. All right, then in part B, um, it says if the if you spent three hundred dollars for how many hours did you rent the pontoon boat? So three hundred is your cost, your C. And so I'm going to plug three hundred in for C and uh, solve the equation like a two-step. So if I subtract ninety, we get two hundred and ten. Okay, if we then divide both sides by 35, we get 6 hours. All right, in number 4, in number 4, we have the complete the table for the given function. Okay, so I know that in this problem I'm going to have four math problems because I have four blanks here. And first thing I want you to remember that f of x is really just a y. Okay, so we're making that y. And then I set up four problems a, b, c, and d. And I know that every single time I'm going to be using y equals 2x plus 7. All right, so now I look here and I say, okay, for letter A, this 0 is in the x column. So I know that this is x equals 0. 
So I plug zero in for that x right there. And then I just solve that. So two times zero is zero plus seven is seven. Then for b, this one is a y because it's under the y column, okay? So it's a y. And so I plug it in for the y here. And now I see that I have a two-step equation. So I would subtract seven, divide by two, and x equals negative three. So now that x needs to go over here in the x column. X is negative three. And then for c, we have um, negative two. That's under the x. So this is gonna be your x value. X is negative two. So I plug the negative two in for that x right there, plus seven. So now I multiply. If I add seven, this gives me three. For d, oops, um, nine is y. So I need to plug nine in for the y. And then two x plus seven. I subtract seven. 9 minus 7 is 2, and then I divide both sides by 2, and x is 1.